In my video on keeping Docker containers on a Synology NAS up to date, I covered using Watchtower to automate the entire update process, and I'll link to that video in the description below. However, I got a comment from a viewer letting me know that using Watchtower in this way was probably a bad idea and not recommended. This is because the user had experienced Watchtower corrupting containers, particularly those that use databases. And while I personally never had issues with Watchtower corrupting any of my containers, an alternative way of using Watchtower is to have it only notify you of new images for your running containers instead of automatically updating your containers. Then you can decide when you would like to do the updates. In this video, I'll go through the process of setting up Watchtower to send email notifications using Gmail as the outgoing mail server. Then I'll manually update a Docker container after getting the email notification. To start off, I want to set up my Gmail account to be able to send emails through Watchtower. And because I've enabled two-step verification, I need to set up an app password specifically for use with Watchtower. You may or may not need to set this up depending on how your Gmail account is configured. But if you get this error message in your Watchtower logs after everything is configured, you'll likely need to set up an app password as well. Google has an article on setting up an app password in their help center, which I'll be using as a guide to configure my account. And I'll link to the article in the description below for your reference as well. To begin, I'll click on this link to go to my Google account. Next, I'll select security, then app passwords and verify my account by logging in. Now from the app password window, I'll click on select app choose Other Custom Name, type in a name that I'd like to use, and click Generate. I'll copy the newly generated app password so I can use it later when setting up Watchtower, then click Done. For the Watchtower setup, I'll be using the command line, so I'll need to SSH into my Synology NAS, which can be enabled by going to Control Panel within DSM and selecting Terminal and SNMP. Here I'll check the box to enable the SSH service, then click Apply and OK on this message window. Next, I'll SSH into my Synology NAS and run this command listed here on screen, which I'll also include in the description below. The command provides the Watchtower container access to the Docker socket, as well as sets up the notification environmental variables using Gmail as the outgoing mail server. You should be able to use these settings in your configuration where you'll just need to substitute in your Gmail account information using the app password that you may have created earlier if needed. I'm also sending the email notification to my personal email address as well. Another entry to note is the Watchtower monitor only line which is set to true. This configures Watchtower to only monitor and not update the running containers when a new Docker image is found. Watchtower is set up to run every 3600 seconds or every hour, but in a production environment, you'll likely want to increase this number to a day or a week. I'll run the command and if everything goes well, I'll get back the newly created Watchtower container ID. And when I check my email, I receive the message letting me know that Watchtower's notifications through SMTP is set up and when the first scheduled run will take place, which will be in an hour. I checked my email after an hour has gone by and now I have an email notification listing all of the running containers that have newer images available and that can be updated. Now I'd like to update one of the containers using the Docker package within DSM so I'll launch the application from the main menu. I'll switch to the container listing and update the smoke ping speed test container by first stopping the container. Next, I'll make sure the smoke ping speed test container is selected, then click on action and reset, which brings up this warning window, letting me know that all data will be lost on reset. But being that I know I set up the container properly with volumes, I'll click yes to continue. Now, after the reset is completed, I'll make sure the smoke ping speed test container is selected once again, then I'll click on action, then start, which starts up the container with the new image.
After another hour has passed, I check my email for the latest Watchtower notification once again, and now we can see that the smoke ping speed test notification is gone because it's currently running with the latest available image. With Watchtower running, so it only sends notifications, it doesn't remove old and unused Docker images after the corresponding container is updated, so for good housekeeping, I'd like to remove those unused images. To do this, I'm back on the SSH session to my Synology NAS, and first, I'll have a look at what images have been downloaded to my NAS by running the sudo docker image ls command. For smoke ping speed test specifically, we see a few images listed. The smoke ping speed test container should be using the image with the latest tag, and we can confirm this by running this command, and we can see for certain that the container is using the latest image. Now I'll run the sudo docker image prune command to remove all unused images, and if I list the docker images once again, we can see that only the latest smoke ping speed test image remains. Hopefully this video on setting up Watchtower to notify you of available Docker image updates helped you out, and if it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, check out some of my other videos listed here as well. Lastly, consider subscribing to this channel and support my work by checking out the support this channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.